I mean, the next fight on the card is a strawweight bout between Carolina Kowalke, which is Michelle Waterson, another close one. And weirdly, the odds are pretty close on this. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards Carolina. I just think that, like, if you watch Michelle, she got into a fight with, like, Tisha Torres and, like, got into positions on the ground where Torres was, like, on top of her and winning the positions. And, you know, that's bizarre because I've seen Tisha Torres go for an armbar on the wrong side. Not that she hasn't made strides. Like, we were just talking about young fighters making strides, but it's just not her wheelhouse. Tisha Torres is a really good striker. And, uh, you know, you see Carolina go to the ground, and she's very savvy down there and knows what's going on. Uh, very good in the clinch. Throws a lot. Kind of dirty in the clinch. Like, she's this cute-faced little girl, right? Like, looks like she wouldn't be a badass. And then gets kind of dirty in the clinch and starts throwing some elbows and stuff. I think Carolina's just going to overwhelm her. I don't think that, like, Michelle, Michelle's going to have what it takes on the feet. And if she tries to go to the ground, I think Carolina's so competent down there that she's just going to be able to negate any offense that Michelle's going to try to mount. You do have to watch with Michelle Watterson. She has, like, a great head toss, you know? Like, she gets people in that headlock and fucking tosses them on the ground. But I just don't see her catching Carolina in those positions. I think this is a – in my opinion, I think this is going to be a pretty dominant win on Carolina Kowalke, which is end. And uh, I just think she's got too much to offer. In this. She throws a lot of volume, a lot of combinations. A lot of girls have trouble dealing with it. And, uh, you know, her losses are to who? One's got to be to Joanna. One to Andrade knocked her out cold, but Jessica Andrade is a fucking animal. That fight between her and Rose when it happens is going to be a war because Jessica just marches forward and she's been on an app. She's been looking unstoppable lately. So like, that's not a bad loss for Carolina. I think Jessica's when you watch like Jessica Andrade fight, she's clearly the number one contender in that weight class. Like that's not a bad loss. And who else is Carolina lost to? Claudia Gadea, she got submitted by her. But again, like that kind of Claudia Gadea and Jessica de Andrade, they kind of have that same style, like head down, marching forward, throwing shit, like pretty, pretty savvy with their takedowns and stuff. You know what I mean? They can wrestle. I just don't think that like the way that Michelle is going to get this fight to the ground or like the way that she's going to threaten with things is not going to be the same as like an Andrade or, you know, a Claudia. It's going to be, she's going to be trying to keep her distance and like, striking it thing you know what i mean trying to get in get out with her strikes and then you know maybe look for some opportunity i just think that carolina's a little bit better everywhere in all honesty i like her in this fight i like like second round ko or like submission or something i think i think she'll be able to get her out of there and finish her but 